Hello folks and welcome to Sound Codex. Today I want to show you how to cut your drum breaks to make break chord music, uh, jungle or drum and bass, whatever you like most. First thing we can turn on the waves tab. Then here beside the program slot section you can look for the folder where all your samples are stored. So mine is music sample library here classic remaster jungle breaks i can use this amen clean i can drag and drop it inside the waves tab by default it will slice your drum breaks in uh, 16 parts you can change the number of slices here using this number box just to show you here you can change the number so 32 and then you can press this slice sample icon 16 it's fine now we can turn on the regions tab here you can see the midi keyboard with all regions now what we need to do is to turn on this little icon this is toggle the root key based then we can move under loops ranges inside the waves tab and as you can see here we have listed all our slices from 1 up to 16 we select all of them and we drag and drop them inside the regions tab so starting from uh, c3 okay let me turn down the volume a bit And now all slices are mapped um, within the MIDI keyboard. We can now close the sampler. We can create an empty region. Let's zoom a little bit. This process will vary depending on uh, your DAW anyway. Here we can write MIDI notes according to the MIDI region we decided to map. So. And now we can change the order, we can create shorter uh, slices. You can randomize, you can randomize your drum break. Now that we wrote our MIDI sequence, we can return inside the sampler and here we can toggle the sounds tab this is where all effects envelopes modulations uh, can be applied and what we can do is to set as source random this is a quick and easy way to add variation to your slices so random as a sound source destination pitch we can set the amount to 1200 or you can write your own envelope to modulate pitch or a sequence so inside sequencer one we can set like eight steps we can randomly draw steps then we can choose the rate or we can set the mode to tempo and this way we can find the playback speed according to time musical time subdivisions and we can change our modulation source to sequencer one let's play our drum break And of course, if you increase the amount value to extremely high values, this will produce crazy effects.
This was how to slice and create crazy effects with the TX16YX sampler. If you found this video interesting, I invite you to leave a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. If you are into breakcore music and you like to uh, chop your samples, take a look at my Samurai Slicer that is a pure data abstraction uh, made specifically to create glitchy drum breaks.